Hello, my dear doctor. I would like to discuss a topic that is the hypercalcemia causes. The most common causes of hypercalcemia are malignancy, circle the malignancy, bone metastasis, metastasis, circle, myeloma circle, and PTH related peptide, PTHRP, from the squamous cell lung cancer. And primary hyperparathyroidism, circle the primary hyperparathyroidism. Other causes include the sarcoidosis and also the vitamin D intoxication, acromegaly, thyrotoxicosis, milk alkali syndrome, drugs like the thiodides, calcium containing antacids, dehydration, Addison's disease, Page's disease of the bone. Other causes of granulomas may lead to the hypercalcemia like the tuberculosis and histoplasmosis. And in Page's disease of the bone, double star is given usually normal in this condition, but hypercalcemia may occur with prolonged immobilization. So yes, my dear, I'd like to talk and the SS box will be really, really helpful in this discussion of hypercalcemia and their causes. Just follow me the SS box, all right? So hypercalcemia, all right, if I'm writing the calcium, the calcium arrow ups. So the calcium arrow ups, if you see the CA, the most important cause that we need to remember, the CA means the cancer, all right, my dear, what I'm saying, the cancer. Means the malignancy is the most common cause of hypercalcemia that is also encountered in your exam, my dear. So the cancer means the bundle pack, just write it down, the malignancy. And remember the malignancy metastasis, if I'm writing the malignancy, bundle pack, that is the mats, and also the multiple myeloma, this bundle pack. And also another important cancer in the malignancy that I would like to write, this is the box, all right? Another important cancer that I'd like to write that the squamous cell cancer means the lung cancer, right? Squamous cell carcinoma releasing the PTH related peptide. So this is a bundle pack of the CA for cancer plus if I'm writing the PTH arrow up Another PTH means the parathyroid tumor adenoma, especially the primary PTH means the hyperparathyroidism is a bundle pack. And these two are the most important cause of hypercalcemia. If I'm writing the B for the C, what is that? Say me B. So it's just a mnemonic so that we can remember. So yes, the B for barcoidosis, if I'm writing the barcoidosis. Barcoidosis means the sarcoidosis. And also sometimes the TB and histoplasmosis also. So we can write the BTA is a small so that we can remember this bundle pack of B bundle pack. There's a barcoidosis, tuberculosis, and histoplasmosis, the granulomatous disease. The cells of granular cells can release the vitamin D-like substance causing the raised calcium. And before the B is an A bundle pack. A bundle pack also once again. A, just write it down the Edison's. We are writing Edison's to this. And plus, once again, this is very important. Another A is a bundle pack of acromegaly. So these are basically the endocrine, another endocrine regions other than the PTH hyperparathyroidism. There is Edison's disease, acromegaly. And also just write it down the thyrotoxicosis. Hydroxyosis bundle pack. So this is a very important bundle pack of other than hyperparathyroidism, there is the A bundle pack, there is the additions, there is acromegaly and thyrotoxicosis. And next to the C is definitely the D. D is a very important other things, right? D is a dehydration once again. Hypercalcemia causing this dehydration and also once again dehydration itself is a cause of hypercalcemia. Next point, the D for diuretics. Just write it down, the D for diuretics. And diuretics having an important side box of diuretics. 
Diuretics is a vendor for my target diuretics. A bit of furosemide, if I'm writing the T and fui F. Bender from a thaja, thaja diuretics causing the raised calcium. In contrast, the furosemide causing reduced calcium. This box also very side box, and this is baby box sometimes I'm saying. So it would be helpful, my dear. And also the D for vitamin D intoxication. So this is the D bundle pack that you need to remember, my dear. And sometimes you can write regarding the drugs as well, write the drugs, we can write the drugs. So yes, the, sometimes the calcium containing entasis, right? We can write the entasis. And also sometimes the milk alkali syndrome. Just remember, because sometimes in your questions, right, that can come up, the causes of Hypercalcemia is also sometimes a very hot topic. So we have made a bundle pack of the cancer PTH and also I'm making another thing that is the PGD, Pages disease. If I'm writing a PGD, that is a Pages disease, that would be helpful. So why I put this all bundle pack of the C stands on the cancer, PTH and Pages disease. This is a single bundle pack that we need to know because these are the most important, the CA for calcium that I put here, all right? It's so if you know this very well, this bundle pack, so that we can understand others. So C for cancer, malignancy, metastasis, and multiple myeloma, you know, we have already discussed, right? And also PTS related peptide, and so the PTH, and also the PGD, the positive disease, the important cause of hypercalcemia. But in Page's disease, we can write only calcium is increased in case of immobilization. Otherwise, calcium is normal. I already discussed in previous video clips, all right? So, yes, once again, before the C is a B, before the B is an A. So, yes, this is a mnemonics and also the bundle pack box that you can understand very, very well. These are the boxes and important causes of hypercalcemia. So once again, you see the D for dehydration, D for diuretics, and D for vitamin D, and D for drugs, and drugs are the antacids. And very important box is the thiazide diuretics and furosemide. Thiazide is causing the hypercalcemia, and furosemide is causing the hypocalcemia. This is important, right? So this is a very important box, my dear. The summary talk, the A stands on the additions, A stands on the acromegaly, and also the thyrotoxicosis. So additions, acromegaly, thyrotoxicosis, barcoidosis, TB, and histoplasmosis, all right? So barcoidosis, BTH, all right? This bundle bag and D for dehydration, diuretics, vitamin D, and drugs. So yes, the hypercalcemia is nothing but the box, is an A, B, C, D, the box, the summary talk. So hypercalcium, hypercalcemia is nothing but the A, B, C, D. C for cancer, my dear, must remember. I said it's the cancer. Cancer is malignancy, metastasis, bone metastasis, multiple myeloma. And also you see that the PTH-related peptide released by some of the cancer, important cancer, squamous cell lung cancer. Remember, my dear, the hypercalcemia. So these are the common causes. So whenever you say the PTSD, so then once again, the raised PTSD, another tumor, right, the adenoma, there is a parathyroid adenoma, reading the primary hyperparathyroidism. And once again, the PGD patches disease, but patches disease causing hypercalcemia only if the patient is immobilized. Otherwise, normal calcium. So this bundle pack of the CA means the cancer, C bundle pack, we need to remember. Beforehand, the C is a B for barcoidosis bundle pack, means the granulomatous disorder, barcoidosis, tuberculosis, and histoplasmosis, BTH. And above the B bundle pack, the A bundle pack, another disease that A for additions, hypercalcemia, A for acromegaly, hypercalcemia, A for, all right, once again, the thyroxicosis. So the A bundle pack, additions, acromegaly, thyroxicosis. And next, the last is the D, D for, yes, the 
dehydration. Very important the dehydration and next to the dardix, dardix is a bandu from a thyroid, thyroid dardix rather than full semite because the bandu from a thyroid causing hyper, full semite causing hyper. And next point, once again, you see the drugs and vitamin D intoxication drugs like endocytes as well as the milk alkali syndrome, all right. So these tremendous A, B, C, D will be really helpful to remember all of them together. Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to discuss a topic that is a hypocalcemia causes and management. The clinical history combined with the parathyroid hormone levels will reveal the cause of the hypocalcemia in the majority of the cases. So what I'm saying, the parathyroid hormone level circle, that should be done whenever you have the passion of hypocalcemia. What I'm saying, hypocalcemia level means you need to work on PTH level because PTH is handling the calcium, all right? The causes are vitamin D deficiency that osteomalacia, chronic renal failure and hypoparathyroidism, and post-thyroid or parathyroid surgery. Pseudo-hypoparathyroidism target cells insensitive to PTH, rhabdomyolysis initial stage, and magnesium deficiency due to end organ PTH resistance and massive blood transmission. So here's the circle that the hypoparathyroidism circle, pseudo hypoparathyroidism circle, magnesium deficiency. Next circle, the chronic renal failure. Next circle, the vitamin D deficiency. Acute pancreatitis may also cause a hypocalcemia. Contamination of blood samples, the EDTA may also give falsely low calcium levels. Management includes that the acute management of severe hypocalcemia is intravenous replacement. The preferred method is with IV calcium gluconate and 10 ml milliliter of 10% solution over the 10 minutes, 10, 10, 10. Intravenous calcium chloride is more likely to cause local irritation and ECG monitoring is recommended and further management depends on the underlying cause. So I'd like to write because a bit of compare and contrast box of hypercalcemia so a small box would be helpful, the ass's box of hypocalcemia. So hypocalcemia means, just remember, means PTH. So if you work on them very well, so that would be helpful. So the box is the PTH, remember my dear. Just hypocalcemia means the PTH. What I am saying? PTH. So yes, the number one is, of course, we'll get the number one. So PTH is low means, of course, we are saying that is the IHP, idiopathic hyperparathyroidism. And another variety, there is a PHP. So just write down the IHP first, all right. IHP means idiopathic hyperparathyroidism. While the PTH is reduced, but in case of PHB, while the PTH is inappropriately aerobes, but it's not working because of end organ damage. Already we talked all them together. So IHB and PHB must remember. And next is the magnesium deficiency. We know them very well. There is also the PTH is also sometimes increased and maybe the normal so but the magnesium yes so we can write that this is also the pth not working all right so these are the three important causes that we know regarding the pth bundle pack means the parathormone bundle pack all right Next, calcium, low calcium, low phosphate, all together is the vitamin D, so we can write that osteomalacia. This is important. Before going to the osteomalacia, another PTH, all right, that is a CKD, where the secondary PTH means hyperparathyroidism. So you see the low calcium means the PTH. PTH gives us an idea. All right, PTH given an idea of the calcium. Second talk of the PTH means the vitamin D. Yes, that is the 
Osteomalacia. Another cause is that is written in your notes, right? The malignant blood transfusion, sometimes the rhabdomyolysis initial stages. So we can write the rhabdomyolysis, then massive blood transfusion, BT, right? Sometimes the acute pancreatitis, right? And also sometimes that the contamination blood samples with the EDTA, all right? So this is a box that would be helpful, right? So these are the causes of hypocalcemia and management includes, all right, a small box of the management that would be helpful, right? The hypocalcemia management is a rule of 10, 10 and 10. 10% 10 calcium gluconate over 10 minutes, 10 ml, all right, 10 ml, 10% 10 over 10 minutes, that will be helpful. And of course, the calcium infusion should be the ECG, should be done along with that. Another thing that I'd like to discuss here, right, the hypocalcemia features is extracellular calcium concentration are important for muscle and nerve function. Many of the features seen in hypocalcemia are seen as a result of neuromuscular excitability. Features are tetany, muscle twitching, cramping, and spasm, circular spasm, perioral paresthesia, if chronic depression and cataracts, and ECG is a prolonged QT interval, long QT syndrome, circular long QT, shows your sign and shows its post sign. Carpal spasm is brachylatory occluded by inflating the blood pressure cuff and maintaining the pressure above the systolic and wrist flexion and fingers drawn together seen in around 95% of the patients with hypocalcemia and around 1% of the normal calcemic papals. Shake bostic signs that is the tapping over the parotid causes the facial muscle twitching seen in around 70% of the patients with hypocalcemia and around 10% of the normal calcemic pupils. So yes, the trosier sign is the more reliable sign than that of the Vostek sign. Shostek sign or Vostek sign or CH Vostek sign, whatever you say, doesn't matter. So you can make a box where the trosier sign is better than CH Vostek sign. Yes, so make a box here. So as is box of hypocalcemia features is nothing but the and mnemonic that the spasmodic. Just write it down. Second box, all right. Hypocalcemia. All the features are trosier sign is more reliable sign with the CH Bostrick sign. Just write it down. So I'd like to have summary box all right about the hypocalcemia. Starting with that, right? You see that the hypocalcemia, so the summary talk is PTH because you see the PTH is causing. So this is the summary, my dear. Whenever you have the hypocalcemia, whenever you have the hypocalcemia, we need to do a PTH levels first. Whenever we have the calcium level low, we must to do PTH level. This is the most important SS box talk here. To exclude, you see the PTH can give the lots of interpretations here. Low PTH, ISP, PTH may be inappropriately very, very high in case of PHP. And magnesium deficiency also, PTH is not working. Sometimes a confusing finding, sometimes low, some, sometimes uh, maybe normal. So in that case, we cannot say the magnesium deficiency PTH will be what? But we need to do the magnesium level also. Whenever we do the PTH level, we have to do the magnesium levels. And also you see the secondary hyperparathyroidism CKD, of course the PTH will be high. But this is the appropriate rising, this is inappropriate rising. What I'm saying? In PHP, that is inappropriately rising of PTH, arrow triple arrow ups, but in CKD, the PTH is arrow up only single. In contrast, the PTH is arrow down, this hypoparathyroidism, there is a IHP. 
So you see the PTH plays a great role to exclude the causes of hypocalcemia. Next, yes, the vitamin D. You see the vitamin D low means the osteomalacia and other causes the rhabdomyolysis. Whenever we will discuss the rhabdomyolysis, why they will see, they will tell that the hypocalcemia feature. Massive blood transfusion is usually not the exams, but the acute pancreatitis also an important feature, so we need to remember. So what I'm saying is side box of acute pancreatitis. So just write it down. Hypercalcemia is a cause of acute pancreatitis and resulting hypocalcemia. What I'm saying, hypercalcemia is a cause of acute pancreatitis resulting hypocalcemia. So acute pancreatitis is a consequence, means leading to hypocalcemia. And also regarding another box, the management of hypocalcemia, of course, we will replace the 10, 10, 10, and ECG should be monitored. And last talk, of course, this is the PTH level should be done. So this is the number two box. This is the number three box. Here, this is the number four box. There is a hypocalcemia. All the features can be studied by spasmodic. All right, can be studied by spasmodic. And number five box, that is SS box, that hypocalcemia is a trojan sign, is CS box size, more reliable. And sometimes your questions come up along with the features of spasmodic. Now I, I would like to discuss about the SS box or the hypocalcemia features, how the spasmodic, the SS box will play a great role to remember all the features of hypocalcemia. Yes, so we need to know all the features of hypocalcemia. So I would like to give a box of hypocalcemia. Yes, hypocalcemia, because of calcium is responsible for muscle contractions. So they will have muscle spasm. So just write down the spasmodic is a mnemonic to remember all the features of hypocalcemia. So let me start by the S, stands on the spasms. Just write it down, whatever I'm writing. Means the carpopedal spasm. Carpopedal spasms. And of course, this carpopedal spasms is nothing but the chosia sign in your notes that you see. P4. Perioral paresthesia. Just write it down. P for perioral perioral paresthesia. A for once again anxious, irritable. We can write an irrational. So usually we have seen the hypercalcemia producing the depression. And hypocalcemia is just reverse, the anxious, irritable, and irrational. And sometimes, as for they can come up with the accessory the seizures. Suppose spasmodic M stands on that the muscle tone will be increased. So increased muscle tone means the smooth muscles leading to colic in abdomen, leading to which in respiratory tract systems. O for orientation, and this orientation means the time, person, place and person, time, place and person orientation, and sometimes they will come up with the confusion. And D4, I'm saying the D4, Dermatitis. D4 dermatitis. Within the bracket, you can write sometimes atopic and sometimes the exfoliative dermatitis. I4 impetigo means the pus, herpetiformis. Impetigo herpetiformis is a rare findings, hypocalcemia, and the pus 
heartbeat deformance in the pregnancy is rare. In pedigo heartbeat deformance. And last C for CH Vostek sign, which is nothing but we know about it. CH Vostek sign, that is the parotid gland and twitching of the facial muscles. And along with the C that we can remember, C for choreoatetosis, C for choreoatetosis, C for cataract, and C for cardiomyopathy within the bracket long QT syndrome. So this box of hypocalcemia, make a box, so this box of hypocalcemia is very important to discuss all the long list of clinical features of hypocalcemia. My dear, listen very carefully now. Hypocalcemia, we talk about the hypocalcemia, so calcium leading to spasmodic. Yes. So as for spasms, that is the carpal spasm, carpal spasm, leading to trousia sign, and P for perioral paresthesia, A for anxious, S for seizures, spasmodic, M for muscle tone increase, leading to a colic and which, and O for orientation, D for dermatitis, I for impedigo, and C for once again. See it's bostic sign, choreoathetosis, cataract, and cardiomyopathy. So the two important signs are here. There is a trosia sign and see it's bostic sign that we can do at bedside to diagnose hypocalcemia. So hypocalcemia, once again, calcium is responsible for muscle contraction. So hypocalcemia leading to spasmodic features. So spasm S for spasms, that is carpal battle spasm, that is shows your sign. P for perioral paresthesia, once again, perioral paresthesia, and A for anxious, anxiety, irritability is also very much important. Yes. Once again, S for seizures, spasmodic, A for S for seizures, and M for ICD. M for muscle tone increase leading to colic and sometimes which as well. And O for orientation leading to disorientation, time, place, and person leading to confusions. And D for dermatitis, I for impetigo, these are real findings. And C for CH hostic sign, choreoathetosis, cataracts, and last C for cardiomyopathy, that is long QT syndrome. So my dear, listen very carefully, among all these things together, there is the hypocalcemia box is so important that we need to remember all these things together. So primary hypoparathyroidism means hypocalcemia features all together that we are expecting to getting this, all these findings all together. I hope that this spasmodic mnemonics will be helpful to remember all these features all together.